Hello everyone. Welcome to Drug Review Series. Today we are going to take a look at amlodipine. Amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker, also known as CCB. Its chemical structure belongs to the class dihydropyridine. It blocks calcium channels on arterial blood vessel. Calcium ions would then fail to enter muscle cells, causing arterial muscles to relax. This causes vasodilation, and ultimately a decline in blood pressure. Amlodipine is most commonly used for hypertension. According to the American Heart Association 2017 Hypertension Guideline, calcium channel blockers, including amlodipine, is an excellent choice as an initial agent for hypertension in most uncomplicated patients. This drug can also be used in stable angina, which means stable chest pain. This drug can also be used in Raynaud phenomenon, a blood vessel disorder. Generally it could be started at a low dose of 2.5 mg per day. It could also be started at 5 mg per day. If stronger antihypertensive effect is needed, dose can be further increased to 10 mg. However, the extra benefit in increasing dose is minimal. Amlodipine is very well tolerated. Common side effects include dizziness, hypotension, flushing, headache, peripheral edema, especially ankle edema, and skin rash. In my experience, amlodipine is an excellent drug for hypertension. If you are diagnosed with high blood pressure by your doctor, please at least measure your blood pressure once a day, in order to know whether your blood pressure is well controlled. Also, please do not rely only on drugs for high blood pressure. Other lifestyle modifications, like adequate exercises, and a healthy diet is also crucial for lowering your blood pressure. Ankle edema is pretty common for amlodipine, which cannot be relieved by diuretics. It usually goes away with a dose reduction or complete discontinuation of drug. That's all about amlodipine. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like. I'm willing to answer all sorts of questions. See you next time.